Hello, everybody. This is Laura, City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me for this month's Stretch the Sketch. In Stretch the Sketch, we take a 12 by 12 inch sketch and we make a layout that is any other dimensions than 12 by 12. I have been working on an album that is approximately six by eight inches. And this is the second page that I'm making for it. So today I am shrinking the sketch. You can see the sketch in the upper left-hand corner, and that is sketch number 12 from Scrap Africa. I love this sketch. When I first looked at it, I liked it, but once I started working with it, I really loved it because I love the way those two, I guess they're a little bit more than half circles, but those two circles bring all of your attention to your photo, to the center of your layout. The sketch has two pictures, but I'm only going to be using one picture because my layout is much smaller than this 12 by 12 inch sketch. The collection that I'm working with today is called Hello Gorgeous, and it's a collection by My Mind's Eye. This is one of my favorite collections. I just love the color scheme and I love the flowers that are in this collection and it's one of my go-to collections. I used Creative Memory circle cutters to cut out the two large circles and then I had some pre-punched border strips in that darker pink color that were already in with the collection. I guess I used part of the border on another page and didn't use all of it so I thought that that was a perfect choice to use on this layout. And the punch that was used to cut those out is a Fiskars border punch. Again, I use my Creative Memories circle cutters to cut out a circle that is slightly larger than both of these circles, or almost circles. And I cut it out in white so that those circles would contrast with the background so you'd be able to see the circles a little bit better. I added a stripe paper along the top and the bottom border, and I also mounted that piece of paper on some white cardstock. And then I didn't make the striped paper long enough. I was working with scraps, and then I realized that it was too short, and so I just got another strip of paper, and I extended it a little bit to the left. The photo that I'm scrapbooking today is, surprisingly, a photo of me. I very rarely scrapbook myself. The reason that I was prompted to scrapbook this picture is because I took a class with Janet Fritz, who is from Galaxy Girl Creations, and she is the person that runs Stretch the Sketch. And her class was about impactful storytelling. And the first thing that happened was I got a lot of thoughts and memories and stories about myself written down. And then I thought that I would make a very small album to house these stories and also to hold a few scrapbooking pages. I'm not scrapbooking my whole life here. This is my first picture from the hospital. And I'm going to scrapbook a few other pictures that highlight some of the journaling that I've done. But I do expect that most of this album is going to be journaling. So this is going to be the first page in the book. And I have to laugh. This baby picture looks like I have a floating head and that my <laughs> head is kind of pointy, but uh, I am really happy to have this photo because there aren't too many baby photos of me. So this is definitely a photo that is very well known to me and I think that it would be a great beginning to this album. As you can see, I'm starting to embellish the page now. I'm mainly using chipboard pieces that are from this Hello Gorgeous collection. There was a chipboard tile that said girly, so I cut off the Y and now it says girl. There was a little teacup that I thought would look cute on the layout. And so I put that in the upper left-hand corner along with some chipboard buttons. There is a chipboard piece that's similar in size to the buttons with a flower on it under the word girl. And of course, I'm putting some extra adhesive on the back to help those stick down to the page. I also put some banners in the upper right-hand corner. And again, those are chipboard. And there are a lot of glittery pieces in this collection. The pink dotted pattern paper that's in the background, that is very glittery. Also, the pink button to the top are glittery and the pink banner has a dark pink glittered top to it. So I like that idea of having some glittered pieces on this little girl page. So I decided to add some letters that say it's a, these are pink fresh studio letters. And at first I thought maybe I could put the 
it's uh, on top on that teacup, but it's just too far away from the word girl for the title to be clear. So I put those letters on the bottom right next to the word girl. And then I didn't have an apostrophe. There were no apostrophes in that collection. So I cut the center of an O. I cut a little crescent shape and made an apostrophe with that little scrap. I put some ATG adhesive on the back of the word girl to hold it down. And I arranged those white letters off camera and glue them down. They really did not stick to the page at all, but I really like them. And a little glue just fixed that. I wanted to add something frilly to the page, but I didn't want to add too much dimension. So I decided on this paper studio bow. I liked the way the white was very clean looking, and I think that it is also very noticeable on the layout. Originally, I had two blue enamel dots and one white enamel dot in the upper left-hand corner and the lower right corner. I then decided that I wanted to have all the different dots different colors so I replaced one of the blue dots in each cluster with a green dot and then I also added some enamel dots to the banners that are on the top right and then I fussy cut out some flowers from the pattern paper I attached those down to the page and I added some enamel dots to the centers of a lot of those as well and I didn't mention that I popped up the photo on some foam I don't want this album to be too thick but this foam is the fun foam that's found in the children's craft section, so it's not too thick. And then I also popped up the flowers to the left of the title. I'm going to use the tab on the left-hand side of the photo to write my birthday. I also wanted to add some highlights to the word girl, so I used a white paint pen. And I was having a little bit of trouble with my white paint pen. I had to keep shaking it, but I was eventually able to get the paint out and I did have to put a couple of coats of the white paint on so that it was noticeable enough and white enough. I like the addition of the white on the chipboard title though. I think that it draws a little more attention to it and makes it a little bit more interesting. And then so that the title isn't the only place on the layout where I have white highlights, I decided to add a little highlight to the cup at the top of the page. And that is the last touch on this layout. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoy this layout and I'm going to continue working on this album for Stretch the Sketch for the next few months. Please take a look in the description box to find the links to all the other participants in Stretch the Sketch. You'll find lots of inspiration in their videos. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day and I'll see you again next month for Stretch the Sketch. Take care, bye bye.